We are back. You're watching CNN. I'm Brooke Baldwin. Thanks for being here. A uh, Friday full of legal setbacks for the Trump administration. Just in this past hour, a federal judge in New York has blocked a ruling that made it more difficult for immigrants to obtain legal status if they were seeking public assistance uh, for things like food stamps. Meantime, another judge in Texas just ruled that the president's use of emergency funds to build his border wall is unlawful. And this is specifically about reallocating those military construction dollars. And then finally, in D.C., an appeals court ruled that the president's accounting firm must now comply with House Democrats' demands for eight years of his tax documents. His legal team just lost an appeal to stop a congressional subpoena. So let's begin with Justice Schneider, our CNN justice correspondent, just to fill us in on uh, uh, the myriad setbacks, I guess, facing this, uh, this administration. Um, talk to me about what you know. Right. So the one that happened this morning, Brooke, was just about uh, the president's financial documents, the fact that he will have to hand over eight years worth to the House Oversight Committee. But really, despite their win this morning, House Democrats likely really won't see these financial documents anytime soon. That's because the president's personal attorney, Jay Sekulow, has vowed to fight this, saying that they will be exploring all appellate options. And they have about seven days to decide whether or not they're going to appeal this to the full D.C. Circuit. That's because uh, the D.C. Circuit decision this morning was only from three judges. They have the option to appeal to the entire circuit, so that's one option. Or they could appeal this all the way to the Supreme Court um, and get a final ruling that way. However, the Supreme Court throughout its history has often given broad powers to Congress to investigate. So the rulings from the Supreme Court aren't really on the Trump team's side. You know, this mm. all stems back to February when we heard from Michael Cohen in the House Oversight Committee. He gave testimony saying that the president had sort of fudged or falsified some of his financial records. Right. That led the House Oversight Committee to then say, look, we need to look at the president's financial records to really do a broad investigation, broad oversight over government ethics rules. So the Democrats have been fighting for this for several months. This is the second time they've won, and they won in the district court and the appellate court uh, just this morning. So we'll see how this moves forward. But again, Brooke, it doesn't look like Democrats are actually going to see anything in terms of tax returns, tax documents, financial records anytime soon, because this fight will continue to play out in the courts here. Brooke? Yep. Jessica, thank you. Speaking of Thanks. the fights playing out in the courts, Paul Callen is back with me. And so just first on the point of the tax returns, what does White House counsel do? Do they just roll straight to the Supreme Court? What do you think? They've got two choices. They can roll directly to the Supreme Court. They might want to do that because they have a 5-4 majority there. But if they really want to stall things, normally they would go for what's called an en banc hearing before the D.C. Circuit. All of the judges in the circuit get together in a room and make a decision. But there's one thing that might cause them to hesitate a little bit. Guess who the presiding judge of the D.C. Circuit is? Who? Merrick Garland. Merrick Garland. That's right. The, what, the person that was appointed to the Supreme Court by President Obama, wow. but Congress wouldn't give him a hearing, and uh, Justice Gorsuch ultimately got the seat. So I'm not... I'm wondering how friendly the uh, ruling would be with Merrick Garland uh, yeah. presiding over the court. What is it, Paul, they say about karma? Well, yeah, what goes around <laughs> comes around, I guess. Um, yeah. Let's move to border wall funding. The ruling on border wall funding, the judge appears poised to block the use of those funds. So where does this go next? Well, once again, same thing. It could go, uh, it will go up to the circuit court, and then it would go eventually to the Supreme Court. Now, I will say in this area, the Supreme Court has issued a stay allowing the president to divert these funds. So there's kind of a hint that at least preliminarily, uh, the Supreme Court is favorable to the president on this issue, but it's a long way before it gets to the Supreme Court. Lastly, on the immigration ruling, this is the immigration ruling that made it more difficult for someone to gain legal status if they apply for things like welfare or food stamps. The judge in that case said, quote, no reasonable basis to apply one public charge framework to one set of individuals and a different public charge framework to a second set of individuals. Um, what, what does that mean? And then do you expect this ruling well, to stick? Well, this is what he's talking about. The, the lawsuit, by the way, is about a section in the immigration code that says if you're a public charge, you're not supposed to be able to get American citizenship or get into the country. However, that really has not been enforced uh, for many, many years. And as a result, there are a lot of people with green cards who maybe fell on hard times after they came into the country and took food stamps or other sorts of things. Mm -hmm. um, and the Trump administration is saying now that disqualifies them from becoming citizens. 
The judge here is talking about another concept, though, and that is he only rules over the Southern District of New York, which is a limited geographical area. But this judge is saying, you know something? This rule applies to potential immigrants all over the United States. Mm. So if I issue a ruling, my ruling is going to bind all of the United States. And district court judges can do that in rare circumstances. So that's what the judge is talking about. He's, say, he's saying we can't have a rule in New York mm. that if you're on welfare, you can't become a citizen. But in California, you can. It's got to be a uniform rule for the whole country. Got it. All right, Paul, thank you very much for thank all you. of that.